Now this is a story all about how our lives got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute just sit right there tell you how we became the Fresh Indies of the West. Back in the east, I was born and raised in the fields, is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, axing, relaxing, all cooling off, shooting some arrows through a little moose. When a man named Jackson, who was up to no good, started kicking out my Cherokee crew. We had a couple of little coffins till the U.S. got scared and said, You're moving with your tribe to the west out there. We prayed and petitioned year after year, but she packed our dogs and kicked us out of there. She gave us five mil and gave us a year, put on my deer skin, beginning the trail of tears. 2200 miles, yo, this is bad. Drinking filthy water straight out of a can. This is how white people want us to live like? Man, this isn't right. Their farmers, Their farmers manifest destiny all of that. I'm thinking of that. Backstab me with my, my own axe. axe. I really hope not. not. We'll see when, when we get there. Just a couple of Indians, Indians on the trail of tears. Well, the convoy stopped, and when we came out, there was a dude, a soldier, handing blankets out. And trying to get sick yet, I just got here. They got us dying so quick, it's like we disappeared. The white man whistled, and my tribe came near. Show me a paper that filled us with fear. If anything, I would say this act was rare, but I thought respect it, yo, crew to the west. Pulled into Oma around 1840 or so, and we yelled to Jackson, yo, homie, get out of here. We looked at our land, it wasn't the best, but we still <laughs> made a living as a home in Fresh Indies of the West. Fresh.